visitors today. I am sharing the tale of Peter Rabbit by Beatrice Potter. This is where my spring inspiration is coming from for 2023. I think it's a beautiful story. And for my centerpiece today, I am going to be taking elements from this story as well as utilizing the colors in my color palette. So let's get started. I'm just giving you a quick overview of all the items that I have gathered to create this centerpiece today. And I just want to mention that McGregor's Garden had cabbages in it. So it was difficult for me to find a lot of cabbage. So what I did was I purchased these from Hobby Lobby. They're actually napkin rings and these are green pennies but they do look like cabbage heads, so I am gonna be using them. I also pulled some carrots. I have my flower pots and my greenery. I have some ivy here as well as this green garland and also my florals here in blues and whites. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with this large cutting board and I'm gonna use this piece to elevate the garland that I'm going to add next. I'm gonna be using this table runner here that looks like grass, and I'm gonna attempt to put this on top and see how it works out. <music> runner in place and I think it looks really good. It looks just like our lawn <laughs> when it's in the summertime, fully fertilized, beautiful and green. I love it. So now I am going to layer this with this green garland. giving you a close view of what it looks like and I just lined the garland down the center of the table runner. So off camera what I did is I went in and I added in a second garland to make it a little bit fuller. So the next thing we're going to do is add in our cabbages. For this quick DIY, I'm taking these flower pots that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. I am using some Waverly chalk paint and I'm going to use some water to kind of dilute the paint on each pot. I don't want it to be perfectly painted. I want it to be kind of scattered about if you know what I mean. So now I'm going to add in my flower pot. <music> a quick view of our progress so far and as you can see I've added in the green florals and I've added in my flower pots here. I have a grouping of three, two of the medium and the miniatures and on this side I have two miniatures and the medium and over here I just have one. So now we're going to be adding in a few bunnies. I'm going to start off with these wood bunnies and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some ribbon here on this bunny and I'm going to add a blue ribbon to represent the beautiful blue jacket that Peter Rabbit wore in this story. So let's see what we come up with. Now I purchased this blue ribbon here. I'm just showing you how it looks from the floral garden at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to place it around the neck of this bunny. So let's get that done. So many questions that I wanna ask, but I can find the reasons why. You always find a small excuse to leave. What's your excuse? So now that 
our bunnies are all decked out for the spring season, I'm just adding them into this table runner. I'm also going to be adding these brown bunnies into this table runner as so well. So here I've taken this adorable little chocolate bunny. I've added three. I placed one on the left. I placed one in the center. And I placed one over here at the end. So I think I'm going to add in this little bunny in the mix as well. Because in the tail of Peter Rabbit, there was a lot of little creatures around. I'm not going to be able to add all those little creatures around, but I'm just going to add in a few extra bunnies of different textures and colors. <laughs> So now I'm going to focus on filling in my flower pots. I'm going to add some greeneries and some bunnies throughout the flower pots. Now this here is one of the bunnies that I'm going to be adding along with this one here. And they're in a sitting position. So I'm just going to go ahead and add those in now. So now we're going to add a little moss and greenery throughout my little flower pots here. So I'm just going to add a little bit. I just took some wax paper because this can get very messy really quickly. Up next, I am going to be using these carrots and I'm going to place them within each of the flower pots. So now I'm going to go in and add some more cabbages. I'm adding these two larger ones and I'm going to place them throughout. Next, we're going to be adding in these florals. There's assortments of whites and blues and some of these have a yellow center as well. We're going to start with these white lilacs and I am going to be placing them throughout the entire centerpiece and I'm going to set the rest of the florals that I'm going to be adding to music. blueberries throughout as well. So now I'm going to add some lights. Now my lights are in and I've got them on the little blinking setting for right now, but I have my battery pack on the end of the table. So I'm just going to take this little bird nest and I'm going to add a little moss in here and put this, sit this on top of the battery pack. And this is how it turned out. This is the battery pack and I'm going to add my nest right on top to conceal it. Now we're going to address this side of my dining room. I added this wicker chair and I'm going to add a few accessories to kind of make it coordinate with my centerpiece. I've also added this little plant stand here and we're going to see how all this turns out. Just keep on watching. So now I just added this simple lumbar pillow with the burlap bunny on it. And I think that's all I'm going to put in that particular chair. And so now I'm just going to add something. I don't know whether I'm going to add a lamp over here or a plant. So let's see what I come up with. 
So I decided to put this buffet lamp over there because it is a plant stand, so I don't have much surface space. And to the bottom, I just added in this green plant underneath there to give it some texture and volume. I'm to add more texture to the base of this lamp, I just added this adorable Easter egg wreath. Okay, so I've added my seat cushion, and this is all I have on hand for right now. So I'll probably switch this out later with a different one. And I'm thinking about adding this blue throw to kind of tie it in with our um, centerpiece. So I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to also add a picture in this little section here to add a little bit more visual interest on this wall. Thank you all for stopping by my channel today and if you are new and you would like to become a part of the felicia by the seasons family just click that subscribe button and welcome new friend to this family and if you enjoyed this video and it has inspired you and your spring decorating please give it a big thumbs up until the next video happy decorating bye guys